Welcome back, fine folks, to another one of our great adventures. We're out here in Salem, Massachusetts, on the East Coast. We're here for October, Halloween season. We're here to take you through some of the most memorable locations from the 1993 classic, Hocus Pocus. Hopefully this is a walk down memory lane, nostalgic boulevard, overload. So, here we go. Three, two, one. folks it's a gloomy kind of day here in Salem which is great kind of what I like nice October morning so we're down here kind of away from all the hustle and bustle of the touristy area of Salem we're down here in a very unique spot and you're gonna recognize this spot instantly from Hocus Pocus yeah it's Danny and Max's house right over there I'm looking at it right now so let's go take a look, maybe line up a scene or two. We're looking out into the bay right now, headed over to the Hocus Pocus home. Yeah, that looks like the kind of uh, bay you're gonna see George Clooney, Mark Wahlberg go cruising by in their little fishing boat before that perfect storm washes them away. That's what it reminds me of. But, let me know what this remodel will remind you guys of. I mean, you know this house, very distinct. It's Max and Danny's house. You'll first see the house, you're gonna see uh, Max coming down this street right here. He's gonna pull in with his bike, chain it up right there to the right of those stairs. You're also gonna see this house again towards the big climax of the movie, up there in that tower. You're gonna see the witches fly out with Danny in tow. Danny! All the interior scenes for Hocus Pocus were all filmed in Los Angeles, the soundstage. So anything interior, not here. Every, mostly everything exterior was here, right here in Salem. All right, we are in Marblehead, Massachusetts. It's a little bit outside of Salem, maybe five, 10 minutes outside. We're here at the old Burial Hill Cemetery. You'll notice in the beginning of Hocus Pocus, you're gonna see Max riding his bike through here. This is where he encounters the bullies. But let's go see where Max came up that hill. Here's the historical marker for the entrance at the cemetery established in 1638. It's one of the oldest graveyards in New England. You can read the rest. Feel free, go ahead and pause it. We're gonna head inside. When we first catch Max riding his bike through this cemetery, you're gonna see that Archibald Sinclair tombstone. You're gonna see him coming right up this trail. Camera kind of pans around this way. And rides on up this trail and you're gonna see that, uh, see that gazebo in the background. You're gonna see the roof as Max rides up that way. It's right about here, you're gonna see Max come around here, whip around this tombstone that's right at the, right about the center of your screen, he's gonna whip around, but right in the back there, you see that little flat surface? That's where Jay and I pop up to greet Max. It's also where they nickname him Hollywood. It's also where they take his shoes. 
All right, before we continue on with the rest of the locations, I kind of want to go through this cemetery here in Marblehead. It's, it's I mean, so historic, typical New England cemetery. You got the old tombstones from the 1800s, kind of faded, a little tilted. But I spy a couple ghosts. Oh, oh, three ghosts. Okay, four. There's four ghosts hanging right there. So what would Halloween be in Salem without ghosts just hanging randomly in a dead body hanging upside down? Well done, sir. Well done. All right, now I already said this. That we were going to head on out, but I had to show you this real quick. Right across from the cemetery is a nice little lookout point. You can see the whole bay. See some boats out there, far off. Boy, isn't that pretty though. And it's a beautiful fall afternoon. Upper 50s, maybe low 60s, give or take. All right, we're moving on. In between some of the locations, I wanted to take you guys around the heart of Salem, show you a little bit here and there. This is the Salem Witch Trials Memorial. Let's go take a look at that one. You're gonna see a few of them here. This was recently um, put here, uh, I think early 2000s. Oh no, I think it was early 90s. I could be wrong. But uh, there's several memorials scattered around this little oval-shaped park. It's starting to rain out here a little bit, but I want to show you the guys' cemetery that's out here by the memorials. The tour group going on too. Yeah, it's been coming down. Let's probably hang out under this tree until the rain dies down. We can go to our next location. Right after this beautiful panoramic view. I wanted to show you guys this shot. We're over here in Salem Common outdoor area. Going to our next location. That's right up here on the right, that brick building. But I wanted to show you these beautiful leaves on this walkway. You can see this building right in front of us here. Center of your screen. We're gonna come across this building. This was the high school. Jacob Bailey High School to be exact. And in the scene right here, you're gonna see a camera pan down from the top. You're gonna to see a clock right there. It comes down right here and you see everyone coming out these front doors to enjoy the October air. But you're gonna see Max right here and get his bicycle. And it's right about here, give or take, from across the street. Wait for this truck to go by. Now you're gonna see um, towards the climactic end of the movie, wait for this band to go by. You're gonna see the Sanderson sisters right about at this angle right here. What is this place? Mm, it reeks of children. It is a prison for children. Looking at the school, it's where the kids lure the three witches to in hopes of getting rid of them. We're pretty close to this angle right here. The camera's kind of pointed upward to the top of the school. The witches are thrown into that incinerator you're going to see the green smoke rising up to the top. Inside Salem Common, you're going to see a scene right after school gets out of Max and Allison walking down this pathway. In the background, you're going to see a basketball court. That's still there. But there's also in the scene a big tree with the huge split going right down the middle. Well, that tree is gone. It now stands a playground. But you're also going to see the fence right here as well. You'll see the spikes as they walk along this pathway. going to see this bench. Now I cannot guarantee if this is the same bench. The bench in the scene is a little maroonish. But hey, over time, who knows? That could be the same bench right there. Right here in the heart of Salem, you're going to see Elizabeth there pop in. 
do a little pose with the sculpture of Bewitched, the great 1960s classic. You know what she did to cast a spell? She wiggled her nose. Between locations again, we uh, came across the witch house. Figured we'd get this for you guys. It's the last standing witch house in Salem. Back in the 1600s. There it stands. All right, headed down the street from the witch house. I want to show you guys a little bit of the streets out here. Just beautiful. All decorated for fall. They got their pumpkins out, the beautiful leaves. Very authentic New England buildings. It's the first church here in Salem. I actually came by here yesterday on Sunday and they still do a church service. I'm sure you guys recognize this home. This is Allison's home in the film, which is in real life, it's called the Ropes Mansion. Why should I? Because I'm your brother. Wow! While Max and Danny are out trick-or-treating on the streets, and little fun fact side note, that part was filmed in Los Angeles. And then magically, clicks over here to Salem, you're going to see Danny run right to this corner and collapse to a bale of hay and pumpkins. Now if you do that now, you'll probably crack your head open on the brick. But that's where it happened, right here. Right where that empty plastic cup is. After that, you're going to see Max and Danny walk up this way. Or Elizabeth's headed to that door, knocking on it, trick or treating. And who answers? Max's crush, Allison. Right there. Again, that was all filmed in Los Angeles, the interiors, but the exterior, all right here. <laughs> yep, no, no. You never know what you'll see walking down the streets of Salem. By the who's who of characters. Started to rain here a little bit, so we're just hanging out under this tree. Just kind of want to give you a little overview down the street. Look at that. Beautiful. Right up here, see a man by the name of Roger Conant. The first settler of Salem back in 1626. He stands right in front of the infamous Salem Witch Museum, which you see a line of people down below. It's, it's a hard place to get into. If you come here, I would definitely look into getting your tickets as soon as possible because they sell out very fast. Very popular attraction, probably the most popular. Again, as I said before, you never know what you're going to see walking these streets. You notice anything peculiar? Like you're getting watched? Kind of like you're being watched. Right from that window. Right here we have Mr. Pumpkinhead. Folks, made it to our final spot right here in the heart of everything that is Salem. Salem Town Hall, center of your screen. Towards the big climactic part of the movie, you can see Allison, Danny, and Max coming this way into those doors right there. This is where the parents are having their big Halloween party. Top window, you're going to see a bunch of silhouettes, like the party's going on. Oh, great. How are we ever going to find mom and dad in this place? The interiors, again, all filmed in Los Angeles. This is where Bette Miller also performed Put a Spell on You, but all in L.A. You know, I kind of take it back. There was a little bit of the interior filmed here. You're going to see Allison, Danny, Max go in these front doors right here. Then over to the right, see that window? I can't get over there because somebody there selling tickets think to a tour, but I'll see if I can zoom in here. But you can hopefully see those stairs behind that lady's head. There she goes. You see them. So when they go through the door, you see them run up those set of stairs right through that window. All right, my friends. That concludes filming locations for Hocus Pocus. I'm going to wrap it up here from Salem Common.
still dreary out, but it just makes for a great ambiance in October here in Salem. And yes, I am walking backwards. We did buy an umbrella, but uh, rain has ceased right now, so it's kind of hard to walk around with an umbrella and film. It'd end up like Mary Poppins. Or maybe in my case, I could be her older brother, Larry Poppins. Anyway, with all that being said, we're out of here from Salem, Massachusetts. We'll see you next time.